Now, joining us now on the phone is Father John Bambrick of the Diocese of Trenton. Uh, good of you to join us once again. When you heard the news this morning, what went through your mind? The first thought that went through my mind, it was a day of great jubilation for the Church in New Jersey, particularly for the Archdiocese of Newark. They received a, received a very fine new shepherd. Uh, Pope Francis has said that the uh, bishop should have the smell of the sheep about him, and the man that they've received really does have the smell of the sheep about him. Does this, to you, indicate that power has transferred, is being transferred? How does this process work? Yeah, as co-adjutor bishop, he'll have the right to succeed Archbishop Meyer should he resign, die, or uh, retire. Um, and for all intent and purposes, uh, Archbishop Hebde is a, is a very intelligent man, very well respected, a canon lawyer, a uh, man who, set, who works in the Vatican, who also uh, sits on the Committee for the Protection of Children and Young People here in our country, uh, has proven himself as a, as a pastor of souls in Michigan. So he he really is the new Archbishop. Uh, there's, there's technicalities, Archbishop Myers remains. But really, it'll be Archbishop Hebda who will be heading up the Archdiocese. You have been on our program here. You have been very critical of Archbishop Myers. Is there any doubt in your mind that some of the charges leveled against him, some of the way that he's handled some of the allegations about improprieties with those who are connected to him in some way, shape, or form, that that is uh, ultimately what led to this uh, move? Well, only the, those involved know, know the truth of that. But I would say that that had a significant impact in Rome, we've seen with our uh, Cardinal, with uh, Pope Francis, that uh, where we, where bishops have recently had uh, instances of malfeasance, he has removed them. We've, he removed two bishops in Croatia, uh, an Archbishop Annuncio in uh, in uh, the Dominican Republic, whom he said they will waive extradition. The uh, diplomatic immunity that uh, that the Annuncios normally enjoy will be removed should those charges prove to be true. Uh, yesterday, he removed a, an Archbishop in um, Peru. Uh, and so, and you see here, the things that happened in Newark, there was a mirror of those in Peoria that was revealed in the recent release of those documents from Peoria. So I think that this is a major reason, um, but at the same time, Archbishop Myers has given great service to the, ch to the Church Universal. He's on the board of the Pontifical North American College. Um, he is a canon lawyer who has uh, worked on the Code of Canon Law. Uh, and, and so he has done some great influential things. There's no reason to dishonor him or disrespect him. So I think this is a way of being respectful towards the Archbishop and his work, but also coming to the aid of the Archdiocese of Newark uh, in this, at this time, which is important. Father, between the, the developments of today and, and I guess the headlines that the Pope made just a few days ago, no obvious connection between these two events, but it sounds to me in a way from the outside looking in like this is a church that's uh, on the cusp of some profound changes, at least uh, in the way the church appears to operate. Absolutely. I think we're experiencing the Franciscan Revolution, uh, if I can put it that way. Uh, Pope Francis is an extraordinary man. He is really bringing, although he won't, he's not changing any of our doctrines or dogmas or beliefs, he is changing the way we approach them. I, I would say he's the, a man for the new evangelization. He's a really presenting the faith in a new and fresh way. He wants people to perceive what we say yes to, what we, what we rejoice in, and not really dwell on things uh, that are negative. As he himself has said, Jesus came to proclaim the good news. That's what people want to hear. They don't want to hear the bad news. And on that, we leave it there. Father John, always a pleasure. Thank you for coming on, sir. Thanks, Mike.